Ukraine is a nation which has around 15 operating nuclear power reactors that produce a whopping 50% of the nation's electricity. Now, this nation has four nuclear power plants which house these 15 nuclear units, which are Zephrovigia, Chilminsky, Rivna, and South Ukraine. Hope you like my Ukrainian pronunciation. So just where are these power plants located and what types of reactor technologies do these units use? If you're interested and wanna know more, in this video, I'll be covering just that. If you're new to my channel, my friends, my name is Osama Big. I have a background in nuclear engineering and on my channel, I help demystify nuclear reactor technologies by simplifying them. I also provide educational resources about reactor technologies across the world, such as this video that you're watching right now. So we'll jump right into it with Zephyrorigia. Zephyrorigia is the largest operating nuclear power station in all of Europe, okay? And it has a total of six units that all use the VVER 1000 reactor technology, okay? So VVER is a Russian reactor technology, which is a Russian PWR. It's also known as the Water Watcher Energetic Reactor, okay? And and most or all of the units in that Ukraine use this technology. I'll go into a little bit why it's important. Now, the total electricity that's produced at this power plant is equivalent to around one fifth of the nation's electricity that is used. Now, this plant is located in the southeast of Ukraine, around 690 kilometers east of the capital Kiev. Okay, the power plant, like I said, is considered Europe's largest. This was declared in the year 1995. The second largest nuclear station in Europe is located in France, known as Gravelines, which has a net capacity of 5,000. 460 megawatts electric. I know I'm probably butchering that name, but let's. These four units at the station have received life extensions, which are all VVER 1000 designs. Those life extensions help extend the life of this, these units from that of 30 years to that of 60 years. All right, so let's jump into the next power plant on our list, which is Chimilninsky. Okay, Chimilninsky is currently is located in the northwest side of Ukraine, around 350 kilometers from the capital Kiev. Originally, four units were to be built at the site. However, However, after Ukraine imposed a moratorium to stop the development of new nuclear power plants, the these nuclear stations, the two units that were being built at the time, were halted. And why was Ukraine imposing a moratorium? Well, the reason why is because the nation just reached its independence, and also this was following the Chernobyl incident. Thus, three years later, after imposing this moratorium, you'll see that large energy shortages in the country caused the government to lift the moratorium. And rather than phasing out nuclear, they rather decided to concentrate efforts on on upgrading the safety systems and safety standards in the country's nuclear power system. Now, Chmelnytsky plays an important role in the development of the Ukrainian European Union power bridge. So this was a power bridge and effort that was being developed at the time, which is a cross-border transmission network between Ukraine and European countries. Now, Ukraine was planning to use this network to fund the construction of units three and four, okay? However, you know, what's interesting is that they also conducted a fresh environmental impact assessment, which was gonna help restart construction on these three units. Rather than looking at the VVER reactor design, Crane was actually considering using a Western supplier, uh, the US vendor design, the AP1000. However, we'll see where the decision moves forward. So like I said, it has two units, which are both VVER1000 and currently has a net megawatt capacity of 1,900 megawatts. Uh, the plan is for this power plant to have a 3,970 megawatt net capacity. However, we'll see when that turns out. All right, next is the power plant called Rivna. Okay, Rivna is located located around 390 kilometers west of Kiev. All right, so this station has four units, okay, which all use VVER reactor technology. However, two of the units are VVER 1000 and the next two are VVER 440, okay? Rivna is the first nuclear power plant to see the construction and deployment of the VVER reactor series, which is, like I said, the leading Russian PWR reactor design. Now, this was a significant design shift from the graphite moderated RBMK designs, which are, for example, used at Chernobyl, and to that of a water moderated pressurized water reactor. So Russia or the Soviet Union at the time did change its design philosophy from that of the RBMK to that of the VVER. And you'll see that majority of the units that are being built by Russia across the world are using this specific design. Originally, this plant was called West Ukraine Nuclear Power Plant. However, during the commissioning of the station, the name was changed to Rivna. Now, several of the reactors on this site have received a life extension. And as you can imagine, some of them were probably a lot older since they were the first to use the VVER reactor design. And 
and they have doubled their life design from that of 30 years to that of 60 years. All right, that's pretty cool. Now let's jump into the last power plant on our list, which is called South Ukraine. It's the easiest to pronounce by far, but South Ukraine, as you can imagine, is located in the south of the country, around 350 kilometers south of the capital of Kiev. Now this is Ukraine's second largest functioning nuclear power plant and part of the South Ukrainian energy complex. So all three reactor units at South Ukraine have received life extensions and are anticipated to run around the years 2023 to that of 2030. Now what's interesting about this specific reactor design is that it was the first power plant to experiment with the usage of that of fuel fabricated by US American supplier rather with the efforts of weaning off Ukrainian energy independence from that of fuel manufactured in Russia. Now this units, these units, like I said, are three VBER reactor units, which in net capacity of 2,850 megawatts. All right, so there you have it. That is an overview of all the nuclear stations and all the nuclear units located in all of Ukraine. 50% of the country's electricity comes from these units, which is remarkable. Okay. And you know, however, if you are interested in learning more about nuclear reactors and nuclear power plants located across the world, one specific video I highly recommend, which you can click on right here is that of the Kandu reactor series in which I go through 34 nuclear Kandu reactors, which is a Canadian design located across the world. So if you want to check that out, click this video and check it out. Hope you enjoy this video and take care until next time. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.